very much. Let me just start by saying that it is an absolute honor to be out here this, this afternoon, this evening, with all of you, my friends and my fellow Americans. And I would be remiss if I did not mention my parents and family in attendance today uh, for making me the man I am and instilling in me the value of fiscal responsibility. But as Brian pointed out, I am a uh, college student, 19, soon to be 20. I can't even drink yet. Um, but I'm a sophomore at the University of Cincinnati, majoring in international affairs. And I am currently serving as a secretary for the UC College Republicans. And just to reiterate, I am going to college, and I am a conservative. Now, this, this Cincinnati Tea Party is truly a, a people's movement, a citizen-led initiative, and don't let anybody tell you it's not. When I first got involved with Mike and Brian and the rest of the uh, founders, I didn't quite know what to expect. We packed ourselves into Mike's living room after everyone had finished work for the week, and their dog was running around, there was food on the table, kids were screaming and playing around in the basement, and it, that's when it struck me that this is what it means to be American. And I realized that I would much rather live in a free America even with, than any other country in the world. No matter what the economy, no matter what the government, I want to live in America. And you know, sometimes it takes someone with a background like Harold from East Germany to remind all of us of our American values. Because the moment we start to take our rights for granted is the moment the government starts to take them from us, and we will not let that happen. Right. And what I find so hard to understand is why our government punishes people who pursue the American dream. Come to America, work hard, accumulate wealth, and be successful. That's the dream, and our government is assaulting that dream with massive amounts of debt and taxes that will be paid by my generation and generations to come. But today we have gathered to preserve the opportunities of the future. We are here to preserve my opportunities. We are here to preserve your opportunities, and we are here to, pres to preserve the opportunities of our children. And this Tea Party, which is modeled after the original Boston Tea Party, we all know so well, it was a historic event, but at the time not many could have guessed its significance. However, the day after the Boston Tea Party, John Adams wrote in his journal that this destruction of tea is so bold, so daring, so intrepid, and so inflexible, and that the consequences are so lasting, I cannot but consider it an epoch in history. Well, this is our history in the making. This is our bold stance to reclaim our country. This is our daring endeavor to tell the government no. You know, it was, it was Teddy Roosevelt who concluded that the most successful politician is he who says what the people are thinking most often and in the loudest voice. So let's give that a try. No to government taxes, no to large debts, no to fiscal irresponsibility, no to wasteful spending, and no to large government. George Washington pointed out that government is not reason, it is not eloquence, it is force. And like fire, it is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. And like fire, our government is destroying this country and destroying its economy. Now, this, this stimulus bill that lies in front of me wasn't read by a single member of Congress, and don't let them tell you they read it, because they didn't. And what we needed, what we needed was a stimulation of the economy, not the government. And, and we all know this. We know that the invisible hand of the free market has been, is now, and will continue to be more powerful than the lumbering machinery of government. And if we need a taste of, of where we're moving, if we need a vision, we need only look to Europe, where social welfare is the norm and where standards of living are permanently 30% lower than our own. 
We have to fight to make sure that America stays American. We don't want the large governments of Europe. We want America. And America is great in part because we have a free society and the power of our government is limited by the Constitution. Now, it is morally wrong for my generation, for your generation, and for future generations to have to pay for the debt racked up by President Obama and the Democratic Congress. Yet, President Obama's budget more than doubles the national debt held by us, the people, by adding more to it than all previous presidents from George Washington to George W. Bush combined. And our government is throwing trillions of dollars around like they mean nothing, while at the same time setting a model of irresponsible financial decision making for people across this country, when it was irresponsible financial decision making that got us into this mess. Yeah. And we will fight for the ideals of a free market economy. We will fight for my future, we will fight for your future, and we will fight for our children's future. George Washington who proclaimed that America would have a different political system. America would have a political system based on the right of the people to make and amend their constitution and their government. And with hard work, determination, and courage, we the people can take back our government and our country. So today I call you to our new revolution, the Tea Party. This is a matter of right and wrong. And as have many have already said, a government that is big enough to give you freedom is big enough to take it away. These are truly the times that try men's souls. But we are Americans. We will never give up this fight. We will never quit. And we will continue to march and protest until we take back this government and this country. And with the Lord, who is our strength, we will succeed. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. David Watkins. represents the philosophy of the next generation of Republicans, then maybe there's some hope for that party. And speaking of someone who knows more about the Republican Party and about Washington politics than probably anybody at this event, a man who knows from experience about the monumental that race awesome, in the awesome. federal government, and a man who spent the better part of his career fighting it tooth and nail, and the sad victim.